on lies. The predictions of the dead witch that I would take her bargain, unseat her sister, serve her deceptions to survive the witness. That my fate is not my own. Did she learn nothing from the Traveler? Any rule can be unseated by a choice. <laughs> This is it, Guardian. Eris consulted her cards one last time, and departed for the Oubliette in Savathun's throne world. She awaits your final tithe. Before she left, she asked me to ready something for Transmat from the tower security vault. And I agreed. Everything is on the line. Asa, the Vanguard, the fate of the soul system and beyond. Empower her, Guardian. Give Eris the strength she needs to reshape the entire Hive Pantheon. And then, all we need to do is get out of her way. This is it, Guardian. Eris is ready for the final tithing ritual. This is our last and best opportunity to deal a real blow to Zivul Wrath. I know this may seem like a long shot, but we have to trust Daenerys. She made herself for this moment. You both did. Imagination, underling. You shall soon witness the consequences of your master's apostasy. since Fundament, a real heavy hitter. I'm getting out of here, and you should too. Stick around and you'll end up a grief stain. You will go nowhere. This is the culmination of the bargain you proposed. You will witness our triumph, or perish as one of us. Rejoice, worshipper! You have sounded the horn of battle, and war has arrived! Go forth, eater of Leviathans! Scourge of the sky! Raise my sister's court! 
and tied the ashes to thy god. I've arranged the transmat. 
But once she's here, we'll lose containment. We can't go back on this one. One last atrocity. This wasn't the agreement! Zivu is still a threat! Do it! You will not have another chance! Finally out of her shell. It looks good on you, honey. I am your ruin. Savathun has not been killed by a hive since she lost her worm. Stored eons of potent lies and deceit. All Sabathun's power, plus the tithes of the Guardians. Eris Morn is the strongest hive there has ever been. Hear me, dead things. I let this moment pass unnamed, without song. This is the rejection of your sad legacy. Zivu Araf, agitator. Fomenter, what a world, sis, you have built from your conquests. No more. Now and forever, you are banished. I ought. Guardian, it is done. When I killed Savathun, I claimed her eons of stored power. For a moment, I surpassed even Zivu Arath herself. The macabre gifts of the Hive awaited a pitted plain of open graves. It was magnificent. I rejected them all. Instead of challenging Zivu Arath, I severed her connection to her throne world. She is mortal now, wherever she may be. Mortal and furious. Refusing conflict split my ritual's foul call. Your tithes drained from me, and now here I stand. A woman who was briefly a god. Ikora tells me Amaru resurrected Savathun. She fled, but left Amaru here, as my ward. An irksome peace offering, for me to destroy if Savathun moves against us. But I am weary of destruction. You may continue to explore Savathun's throne world, as the Queen of Lies is never to be fully trusted. But for now, I would like only tea. Tea and silence. Mission report number 472.622.3. Regarding our ongoing attempts to breach the extraspatial portal within the Traveler, I'm relieved to report that Eris's risky plan worked. Her final ritual banished Zivu Arath from her own throne world. The Hive God of War is vulnerable for the first time in millennia. When the time comes, we can finally force a decisive engagement against her. But first, we have to deal with the witness. To that end, 
seems the Witch Queen held up her end of the bargain. I didn't want to let her go. But Savathun offered some enticing collateral. She left Amaru in Vanguard custody. He's an odious little wretch, but an important one. As long as we control the Witch Queen's connection to the light, she'll think twice before crossing us. It went against my every instinct to let Savathun squirm away again. But we need to keep our attention on that portal. She gave us the secret to breaching it. Now, we just need to discover what form it's taken. For now, Asa is back in hibernation, and Eris is recovering. More than that, she's thriving. I was worried that Eris's obsession with the Hive would overwhelm her. But she's carrying herself with an air of confidence I haven't seen in a century. And I'm just glad to see her 